Hey there, friends. Got my trusty Squirtle hat. You often hear me give you the blueprint about Cycle 1 coins and narratives and everything in crypto to help you navigate these rough seas. But I often see a common mistake that people tend to grasp here. Now, remember, friends, we are dealing with probabilities. These are not certainties. Example, Dogecoin was a Cycle 3 coin back in 2020. You understand? It was a Cycle 3 coin but it still went up 300x. So people who see that, they'll go, oh, well, throw all the models out, throw the frame of work, everything's random. These people have a defeatist attitude, okay? They're the people, they go to a club, their missus is hooking up with another guy, they go home crying, okay? You got to be the guy, you walk up, you find that guy's missus and her friends and you hook up with all of them. You understand? You got to be that guy. So when it comes to crypto, how do you apply this? Well, when Doge goes up 300x, you don't say, oh, oh, throw everything out. No, put down the soy milk. Remember, it's a game of probabilities. If you go back to 2020 and 2021 and you had a list of all the Cycle 3 coins, you would clearly see Doge was the anomaly. Everything else, poop. XRP, poop. Litecoin, poop. All right. So we're dealing with probabilities, friends. So if something cycle two narrative now, and people are talking about Richard Hart coins, Ricardo Corazon, I've told you, man, I don't know what the future holds, friends. And I'll never pretend like I, I exactly know. Okay. But I'll just tell you now, the odds are there's a high chance, not a hundred percent chance, just a, a very high, good chance. You pump. If you're a cycle two narrative, if you are a cycle new coin, a cycle one coin, you on average do better than a cycle two coin, even with the same narrative. So example, Hex, DeFi coin, and Pulse Chain, alt layer one coin. They are both narratives from last season. So they're now both cycle number two. Here's the thing though. Pulse Chain is new, cycle one. Hex is old, cycle two. It's not really old, friends. We just call them old because you're looking at the front end of the curve. The real thing to look at, when something becomes cycle three, you're really old. And look at this, man. If we want to look at Doge, friends, sure. Yeah, I can show you Doge all day. Doge went up, all right? But it's not 100% perfect, okay? Because it's just it's just probabilities, man. Because yes, look, oh, sweet, Doge, congratulations. Doge did a 500X from the bottom to the top, okay? But here's the thing, man. If you got to think about it like this. If you buy every coin of that age, if you buy every coin, you gotta think about your returns. So I'm gonna show you XRP, for example. XRP, in its third cycle, you only get a 14X. What about Litecoin, AKA poop coin? Okay, what about Litecoin? What did it do from the zombie virus? There you go, it did another 14X. If you wanna do from the very bottom to the top, 15X. So you see that, right? So. If you had money and you allocated them to every cycle three coin back in 2021, you would see, okay, Doge anomaly because it became a meme. It had the meme coin narrative got attached to it. And then everything else went poop. Look at your odds there. Out of like 20 coins, Doge killed it. 19 went garbage. Absolute filthy trash. You see? So let's apply them today. So there are cycle two narratives. It's going to be the same thing. They're not guarantees. Just on average... I believe, this is just me speculating, man. We're just guessing, right? I believe that if you own cycle two narratives, okay, and you focus on cycle two narratives, especially the new coins within the narratives, the basket of those coins will way outperform cycle three narratives. Do you understand? Cycle three narratives, friends. So you have old stuff like payment solutions, store of value, faster Bitcoin. That was another one. You see that? Stuff from 2017, narratives there. Now, you're laughing at them because you're like, oh, there's no way people want. Exactly. I'm trying to help you to grasp what it is you're participating on. Also, now, we're in that cycle too. What if you shift it forward to cycle one? Well, you're already seeing it now. It's kind of too late, right? So if you were to correctly predict a cycle one narrative, you crushed it because you got AI. You got decentralized penis. You got de decentralized science. You've got the restaking narrative, but it's not you that wins in the restaking narrative. 
it's the VCs and the investors who win in the restaking narrative. They're the ones who absolutely crushed it because everybody throws in their money. They got a higher fully diluted and they didn't even have to invent anything, by the way. All they did was take everybody's stake, Ethereum, promised them some sort of poopy layer two chain. It's literally like the highest reward little effort thing. Okay, do you see what I mean? But you have to pick them. That's the tough part. You have to pick those narratives. And that's why these VCs and all these other scum, their goal is to morph the narrative as well because they don't have balls because they don't want to buy other people's bags and they can't actually get the liquidity and the size on. Do you understand? They, they always want to be doing the new stuff and they really care about Christmas bonuses and stuff here and there. So they can't, here's the thing, Vince, these VCs and stuff, they can't be caught holding a cycle two narrative for the whole cycle because they got bonuses they got to talk to people who shave, wear brown leather shoes. They got people bitching into them all the time. Oh, why isn't this coin going up? Why aren't you moving up? Like, oh, everyone's in AI coins. What are you doing here? It takes a very, very strong, ferocious type of investor like me wearing a blue squirtle hat, okay, to actually tell these people, shut up, you're a little bitch. It, you, it's not normal for them to do that. It's very, you need strong conviction, okay? So now you're clearing it up, right? You're seeing it in your mind like, oh, it's probabilities. It just means, look, a lot of people, people always take the one anomaly and they go, oh, contradiction. Okay, good, man. You don't have to use the model. I don't really care. But I'm just showing this framework. Clearly, it's working. So, yes, best example, friends, actually is meme coins. Meme coins is interesting because meme coins are cycle two narratives, but they're resurging. But if you look, you dig beneath the surface, it's new meme coins. So, the thesis and how everything I view, how I, how I look at it, it's actually applying even more because it shows you Doge and SHIB, friends, only did like, you know, did like a 3, 4, 5x off their low. Doge and SHIB, their old cycle 2 narrative, okay? But Pepe does like a 300,000x. Dog with a hat goes to billions. All these other meme coins, you have things like Landwolf, 150x, you have Brett, no, all these other things going nuts, friends. Uh, Dick with butt, Tang Gang, see all these new meme coins, new subcultures, they absolutely blow the old stuff out of the water, literally smash them. So if you had the choice of a basket, would you rather, so you're, you, let's say you're in meme coins, would you rather the cycle one coins, the new fresh ones, or the old ones with the baggage? Clearly, you see it's the old ones, with the, it's the new ones with the baggage, it's the new ones, sorry, without the baggage that you want, the cycle one coins. So, it, But it doesn't mean that a coin from the past can't pump. It doesn't mean that, it just means your odds are lower. Just like what happened with Doge, like I said, back in 2021, you, have, you really got to think about, hey, Doge went up. Some people will say, well, you know, what about any other coins that had anomaly runs? It weren't really anomaly. Cardanzo went up pretty good, but it was latched on with the alternative layer one chain narrative. So Ethereum being expensive, that became a new narrative and that birthed Cardanzo up to give it new big heights, okay? That's a lot of people, including myself, right, along Cardanzo. Now we had no idea it was going to move like that, but obviously that's why it did a huge 150x return. Isn't that fantastic? But you got to capture the alternative layer one narrative. Now, if Cardanzo Friends wants to go do an equally giant 150X up here, it needs another cycle one narrative. Do you understand? Now, where is it going to come from? Is Cardanzo going to be an AI chain? I don't know. So you can't rule everything out, but just your odds of fulfilling that destiny become lower and lower. Because now Cardanzo is alternative layer two, but it's a cycle three coin now. As in 2017, did a 420x, then it did 150x last cycle, now it's cycle three coin. That's why one of my thesis, I'm like, well, it's obvious to just own Pulse Chain because, okay, you're both competing to be cheaper Ethereum. Pulse Chain cycle one. It's new and it's fresh. You know what I mean? That See, there's a big advantage, but you can't rule everything out. What if Car what if Charles Hoskinson renames it to Cardanzo is now an artificial intelligence chain? Okay, so you think of these like baskets and that's what it comes down to. It's like, well... Not every, it's not like every coin can't move or all of them can move. It's not guaranteed. Just like saying, okay, just because you buy a new coin doesn't mean it definitely goes up. Or just because you buy an AI coin doesn't mean it definitely goes up. But you're trying to increase your odds here. That's all I'm sharing with you what to do. But you're trying to increase our chance of success. So what types of stuff are you focusing on? What types of, because you're picking, you're picking stocks, you're picking crypto friends, you're literally collecting Pokemon, I'm wearing a Pokemon hat just to show you, okay. On average, where is your eye? Where are your eyes? See, I love okay, new meme coins. I okay, memes are hot, product market fit. Okay, I want cycle one meme coins. If if new meme coins sucked 
and you had to buy the old stuff, okay, because of whatever reason, maybe we lived in another universe, then I would just be in the charts all day looking at every single meme coin from the past, trying to find the ones with a community still alive, and you just buy them minus 99% down. That, that was a viable strategy. You could do that. There's people still holding it. However, those returns are not as good as buying new cycle ones. However, who's going to give you the cycle one coins, friends? We have to find them ourselves. We've got to be here. We've got to develop the conviction. It's not so easy. Like, who's just throwing them out like candy? They're not. It's, it's a very, very tough game, okay? This same all applies for gaming, DEXs, Metaverse, alt, alt one. doesn't matter what the narrative is. You just get to see... It's, it's a, the game of probabilities, man. The newer it is, the higher chance all the boats get lifted. All right? And then as you get older, your odds start to go. And then when, once you're in cycle three, it's pretty much game over. you like, you really, really need to. You need a divine intervention. You know, Doge got the divine intervention. Just one coin. But you can't focus on that, man. You're going to get wrecked. That's why people still haven't figured it out. And that's why people still holding XRP. Now you're cycle number four. So, you, yes, maybe you go up in USD. Hopefully you break the high. But you're bleeding against Bitcoin and Ethereum. At the yin yang. Okay. Now you can see everything, friends. I've given you the matrix. The game. Okay. It's not about, okay, this is the one thing. This is it. That's why you don't go all in on one thing, man. I don't care about being right or wrong. All right. I care about making money. Why do I care about making money? Okay. If I get a basket of things and they have a, they have a core competitive advantage, I know on average some of them, they're going to surprise to the upside. There's going to be nice ones in there. Another example, friends. Chainlink. Chainlink is an oracle. But people say, well, Oracles are now cycle two. Yes, that's right. That's all accumulating in the bear market. We didn't know AI was going to be a thing in 2022 or 2023. People were making Japanese cartoon booby generations on on hen, on with hentai and like Japanese like naked girls. That's what that's what AI was, man. Just cartoon image generation of just naked people. Okay. So then Nvidia blew up. You see what I mean? So as you traverse, though, see he obviously you want to buy AI coins, just give it a big give me a dis, big discount. Okay. So Oracles, right? Oracles. Cycle two narrative now, but okay, there's an advantage with chaining. It's the unicorn. It, it, it's it's the oracle, pretty much. However, you're probably not going to get your hundred x. It is what it is. You're not going to get your hundred x. It's just it's nice to be accessed for people on centralized exchanges. You got normal normies, friends, and stuff. If they, I think it's nice. It's leverage on Ethereum. It's very simple. It's very stable. Okay, obviously gets dumped on, but look, if you just go back to the go back to all the charts, they say one thing. Like if um if you have a cycle two narrative. Pretty much, you boil in the kettle, and then the lid pops off at the very, very end. But it's no guarantee. But just they usually do. So that's it. There's no guarantee. I don't know. What if none of them? One of them move up. Friends, what if? Like that's why I always plan these scenarios. People think it's fun. It's not. What if nothing from old season ever goes up, and it's just meme coins over and over and over again until the whole bull market's done, and everyone has like an eight year bear market and everything else. The thoughts of even saying that, people are just like, wow, you know what I mean? But if you're participating in this game, at least you'll capture some of the upside. So, we, so we, we're just trying to make these mental frameworks. If you just if you look for contradictions, you'll find it everywhere. But I'm just trying to help help you see, okay, where you allocate your capital, friends, there are winners, there are losers. Do you understand it? It's, it's a game of who is relevant, who is irrelevant. Which stories are relevant, which ones are irrelevant. Remember, there's... Always the new stuff, very relevant. But there's a part in the back of our brain that remembers last cycle. You know, we remember the dog coins, the meme coins, the gaming, the alternative layer one. We remember that. That's what for one good cycle pump. That's why as long as Pulse Chain and Pulse X sit on these floors for a long time, sweet, just keep stacking them. Keep stacking them, okay? See, AI coins, yeah. I'd love to stack them too. The problem is they're 40x off the low. I'm not buying up their bags. So you got to think about the game you'd like to play. Obviously, cycle one names are good for momentum. I don't like playing that game. I don't like, let's let's go risk one unit to make two or three. I don't want to play that game. I want to go super hard. I want you to at least have some confidence where you're like, well, I've invested six months of living expenses into this ecosystem. If I get a 20X, I get 10 years, I don't even have to work. You know, I want you playing that game rather than like, oh, I've got to look for the magical triangle that has momentum on the way up, okay? There you go. You've seen the matrix now. Like, subscribe, better than all. Don't forget to love the kitchen soon.